Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this P3D video. Today we are Austrian Airlines and we're going to be doing a full flight from Innsbruck to Zurich in Switzerland. Our approximate flight time today is 32 minutes and we're going to be cruising at 24,000 feet. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the overhead panel here and we're going to turn on our batteries, battery 1, battery 2 and external power is available so we'll start the GPU uh, we're going to head over here to Adirs and set it to, oops, nav mode there we go and let's load the fuel sheet before we do anything else so let's head over here and down here it says reset iris to nav, okay we'll worry about that in a minute um, actually we need shift and 4 um, let's see here load and we're gonna load the sheet and we're gonna say instant All right that is done and the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to reset the adheres again All right let's head over here again and let's reset it Alright, and we can now turn on the fuel pumps. Supply crew, navigation, uh, seatbelt signs, and non smoking signs, and arm the emergency lights. Okay, we are ready to program the MCDU, but let's bring some light to the PFD, the ND, and ECAM, lower and upper ECAMs. All right, all looking good. Let's start now with the MCDU. All right, so in it, and I have already the uh, company route uh, downloaded from Simbrief. So we're going to enter Lima Oscar Whiskey India to Lima Sierra Zulu Hotel. All right, that's selected. Flight number, we can forget it. Uh, cost index is 30. And cruise altitude for our flight today is 24,000 feet. And iris align and return. Okay, so everything's good here. We're gonna go to uh, the next page and we're gonna request the fuel, which should be there. There we go, block fuel. All right, we've got everything there. And now we can go to flight plan and we're gonna select our uh, departure. We're gonna be departing today runway 08. And the tra the um, SID is the Adel 2 Juliet. So we're gonna select that and say insert. And that looks good now, okay. And at uh, Switzerland, uh, we're going to be arriving at uh, runway 34. We're going to do an eyeless approach. Uh, let's double check that here real quick. Yep, uh, through the um, Negra 1 Alpha. So ILS 34, and we're going to select the Negra 1 star into. Vienna and all is looking good let's make sure there are no discontinuities in our flight plan there is one there we're gonna clear it and insert and we look again and everything is looking good okay let's head over to uh, performance and uh, we're gonna select flaps one today for departure and we're gonna say up 0 0.1 and that's selected there flex temperature is selected for us that gives us a v1 of 116 v rotate of 130 and v2 of 132 transition altitude is noted as 10,000 feet and we're going to hit the uh, secret b keyboard button to reset our altimeter let's go ahead and set our altitude uh, here to 24,000 feet 24 is set and everything is looking good now. We have an iris alignment in approximately two minutes. Okay, 
So what we're going to do in the meantime, we're going to bring up the checklist, uh, return, uh, aircraft doors, uh, let's close the door. Okay, door is closed and return, checklists, checklist is on. Captain, the cabin is secure, all passengers are aboard. And co-pilot is on. And now we can begin with the checklist. Let's go ahead and start the checklist by clicking or pressing number one. Cockpit preparation checklist. Engine master. Both off. Weather radar, power supply, wind shear. As required. Okay, so we are now ready to push back out of our position. Uh, let's select GSX, prepare for pushback and departure. And we're going to do nose to the right. There we go. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brakes. All right, we've been cleared now to release our parking brakes. Parking brakes release. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right, and now we've been cleared to start our engines. So we're going to go to the engine mode selector and set it to start. And we're going to begin with the engine number two. Starting engine two. Engine right. two is stabilized. Let's start the engine number one. Starting number one. Engine one is stabilized. Set parking brakes. All right, let's set the parking brake. <laughs> parking brakes are set. After start checklist. Engine mode selector. Unlocking gear. Set. APU bleed. Set off. APU master. Tow truck disconnected. Set Bypass off. Been removed. Spoilers. Set. Rudder trim. Check zero. Pitch trim. Set. Flaps. Flaps one. Flight controls. All right, let's do a full left. Full left. Left is clear. Right is clear. Full right. Neutral. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Rudder. Okay, full left rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Check. Anti-ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Ecam door page. Checked. Hand signal. Received. Checklist complete. All right, perfect. We are ready to go. Let's release the parking brake and let's give it some power. Taxiing checklist. Exterior lights. Checked. Brake check. Pedal pressed. Checked zero. Checked. Auto brakes. Max. Take off data. Reviewed. FCU. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Weather radar, power supply, wind shear. Checked and set. TO config. Set. Checklist complete. We are ready for departure out of Innsbruck now. And let's go ahead and uh, press number one here. Flight attendant seats for takeoff. Before takeoff checklist. Brake temperature. Checked. Brake fans. Off. 
engine mode selector. Check normal. TCAS. T A R A tilt above. Exterior lights. Set on. Sliding tables. Stowed. Stowed. Checklist complete. All right, here we go. Take off. Man, flex, and SRS. Check. Thrust set. 100 knots. Checked. V1. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. Navigation. Check. Exterior lights. Alright, here we go. Smooth takeoff out of uh, Innsbruck. And now we continue to climb and gain speed. Gear is up. Lights off. And we're going to keep it at about uh, 15 to 20 degree pitch or so. Flap zero. Right. Speed check. Left zero. Climb thrust. And the after takeoff checklist. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Spoilers. Disarmed. Flap. Check retracted. Landing gear. Gear up. Lights off. Exterior lights. Checked. Pack. Both on. Anti ice. Off. TCAS. Set. Altimeter. One, zero, two, zero. One, zero, two, zero. Check. Checklist complete. All right, and at this point, we're going to go ahead and engage the autopilot. Autopilot on. Off. Set a cross check. Check. Off. Cabin sign. Both off. We continue to climb to 24,000 feet, which is our final cruise altitude for our flight today. And I do want to take this opportunity to thank you guys very much for all your support over the past four years, for all your encouragement. And for really the friendships uh, that I formed through this channel uh, it has been really a very rewarding experience uh, having the Q8 pilot channel and I'm gonna be planning a video uh, midweek and uh, that video is going to be an X-Plane 11 video where I share with you guys all my settings plugins tools recommendations and I'm planning a massive giveaway for you guys so uh, stay tuned and uh, make sure that you hit the uh, bell button so that you are notified once the video is out. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Getting a warning here on the TCAS. I really am very pleased with uh, how uh, P3D version 4.5 is performing now and uh, I know that some of you guys have asked me to uh, publish a new video with my new settings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my settings in this video uh, uh, as soon as we level off to uh, our cruise altitude of 24,000 feet. But yeah, overall the performance has been really good since I made the, uh, those changes. 
and uh, I'm able to fly all the aircraft in very complex scenery without really um, serious degradation in performance. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased with you know with the results. I am, by the way, using uh, Rex Environment Force in this video along with Active Sky uh, next. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we are now cruising at 24,000 feet. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to enter the destination data. Uh, this is a very short flight. So we're going to head over here and go to performance. And we're going to go to the approach phase. Altimeter is 1013. And temperature at uh, Zurich is 13 Celsius. Wind is three knots at 240 degrees. And that's there. And VF is 137. We're going to enter that here. All right, that's done. And uh, five zero. Okay, so we are ready now. And what we're going to do is reset the MCP altitude to 7,000, which is the first restriction. All right, 7,000 feet is set. Okay, let me show you my settings. So we're gonna head over here and go to Options, Graphics. And this is what I have. FXAA is off, 4X SSAA for anti-aliasing. Texture filtering is 16. Texture resolution is 4K. Uh, the resolution of the monitor is 2560 uh, by 1440, that's a 2K monitor. Um, and V-Sync is off, target frame rate is 30. If we go to world, I have the level of detail radius set to ultra, and all the rest of the items here is set to the maximum. Um, scenery objects is extremely dense. Uh, autogen is medium. Autogen vegetation and building density is set to very dense. And as far as water detail is medium and you can go to low and wouldn't really change anything. Um, reflections, I have terrain, user vehicles and buildings. Special effects are both on medium. As far as lighting is concerned, uh, I have um, HDR enabled. Brightness and bloom, as you can see, 110.65 and 105 respectively. I have dynamic lighting enabled uh, and display lens flare disabled. As far as casting and receiving, I have internal, external vehicles casting and receiving shadows and cloud and terrain uh, casting shadows. That's pretty much it. The weather is controlled via Active Sky Next. I set it to a maximum for the cloud coverage density and 90 miles uh, for the cloud draw distance. That's pretty much it. Let's head back over to our flight. So here is our top of descent point, as you can see. Uh, we are nearing our top of descent point. A very short flight, really. So the descent checklist is now scheduled to start in 26 miles or through the Mukdu, or we could start the checklist by pressing uh, number one on the keyboard. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna uh, press number one on the keyboard Descent preparation checklist. Anti ice. Off. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. Landing elevation. Checked. Barrow radio. Checked. TCAS. Set. Checklist complete. Alright, we can initiate descent. Initiating descent. We are now descending towards 7,000, which is the first restriction we have uh, before we reach Zurich. And the platform altitude for our flight today is 5,000 feet. All is looking good at the moment. We have now begun the uh, deceleration to 250 knots as our altitude All reaches uh, 10,000 feet. Medium. Passing 10,000 feet. Lights on. On. Cabin signs. Set.
We are now approaching uh, Zurich. As you can see, we are now at uh, 9,000 feet and approximately 250 knots, and all is looking good for our approach. Looks like visibility is less than perfect, uh, but we should be fine. Checked. One zero one three. One zero one three. All right, we have reached the transition altitude. Let's go ahead and set the altimeter. And as you can see now, we are decelerating. Approach checklist. Decal status. Checked. Sliding table. Stowed. Stowed. Cabin signs. Okay, approach. Checked. Nav accuracy. Checked. Bearer reference. Second autopilot is on. Barrow reference set and cross checked. One, zero, one, three. One, zero, one, three, check. Exterior lights. Set on. Check, Beep. check, complete. Flaps one. Flight attendants, prepare for landing. We have begun our right turn now to uh, runway three, four. Localizer is captured. Localizer alive. And that's the runway ahead of us now. Localizer captured. All right, we're going to go to speed check, flaps three. And we're going to lower the landing gear. Flaps full. Speed check, flaps full. Landing checklist. Landing gear. Down and locked, three greens. Ground spoilers. Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Medium. Exterior lights. On. Go around altitude. Set. Landing memo. Checked no blue. Checklist complete. All right, so the landing checklist is complete and we are ready to land runway 34 at Zurich. And uh, as you can see here, we're at about uh, 1,100 feet from the touchdown zone. Uh, so at about a thousand feet, uh, we'll disengage the autopilot and take over. One thousand. All right, here we go. And let's kill the autopilot. Doesn't want to do it from here. Autopilot off. All right, so my airplane. Too low. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Frames are suffering a bit. Two hundred. Hundred above. Flight slow. One hundred. Flight slow. Minimum fifty. Forty. Continue. Thirty. Bit of a floater there. And Retard. Twenty. Ten. Five. Ground 
Ground soil. Crosswind there. All right. Reverse green. Not the best of landings, uh, but we made it safely. I actually enjoyed uh, doing this flight in this uh, Aerosoft um, aircraft. All right, let's make a turn here and let's take a look at our landing. All right, I'm gonna bring the aircraft to a complete stop here and set the parking brake. After landing checklist. And Exterior let's take a lights. look at our landing. Well folks, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Please do stay tuned for my upcoming video celebrating uh, the 40k milestone on the Q8 Pilot channel which is coming midweek. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.